All right, I'll take a mosquito at the start. I'm gonna hard pass on these boils. Give that a sweet little roll. Do you want a swole skeeter? I guess we could go for a little swole boy. A little swolitudiny up in there and get a little in the back there for you and over there for you and that seems fine. We shall be the hooting beavers. Perfect. And we're gonna be uh, just chilling out here a little bit and just see, see what we can do. All right, hopefully we get some good RNG of guys placement. Oh, that's good. You guys trade perfectly. Buff the mosquito in the back. Do it, do it, do it. All right, I mean, actually that, no. I'm not sure it makes a huge difference either way. Might have been a draw either way, but that's uh, fine. Not terrible there. Hmm, I guess I could get the fish in there from, I wouldn't mind some matching units, but uh, luck is not so kind today. I suppose we'll do, what am I to cricket, honey cricket in the back just to secure the dubsky and freeze you. And uh, hmm, do we like the order here? Might be okay. We'll see. We'll see. Depends what they got, what order they got. No matching units though, it's kind of like a bummer so far. Ooh, this, don't you mosquito pop the wrong guy. Don't you do it. That works out okay for us, I think, right? Yeah, we pop two there and then you guys trade pretty good RNG for us. Oh, beautiful RNG there. Sweet little honeybee cricket. Didn't even need the honeybee, but you never know. Nice to have it, just to secure those early dubs. Early dubs, best dubs. Hmm. I'm gonna pill you. Talk to me like that again and I'll pill you. Not who I would have chosen to get it, but well, here we are. Hmm, I guess that works. And uh, I will bring in this dodo up in here because why not and do this actually maybe right? No, it's fine. No, it's good. No, nah, whatever. It's whatever. See what we can do here. Try to get some uh, leveled up units if we can. Get that sweet, sweet dubski. My, what a big swan you have. Put some food on that, did ya? Alright. This is okay for us, right? Mm, maybe not. Ooh, maybe... May oh, wait. Draw? Draw, because the honeybee. See? Told you the crick in the back line provides value. Not bad. Seem kind of lacking synergy here. Oh, we don't care for any of these guys. Hmm, it's not the role you're looking to see. Roll? Oh, you gotta do me better than that. You gotta do me better than this. Yeah, meat bone on you. And just roll for, there we go, swan, okay. Swan, let me just get you in here. Serves your purpose and then honey be you. Guess that'll work, right? Perhaps, we'll see. We will see. Gotta believe though, you gotta believe. All right, that's good, you pop the front guy and the next guy if you survive that. There we go. Good value on the meat bone there. Took out two uh, healthy uh, hit points units. You can kill your own horse. What you doing, silly? And Dubsky. There we go. There we go. Nice little winds coming out beautiful. Hmm. Ooh, uh, I will level up the dodo. Thank you very much. And they get tier four units. Copy ability from behind. So if you copy their ability, you'd be giving three damage four to them, which is not bad, actually. Better than the other abilities to copy. Um... Maybe say goodbye to the mosquito, since you were like one away from a level up. Get out of here. You know who knows? Might roll another one of these. Put you behind them. I don't know that you need a damage buff. Guess we could damage buff you, and you could buff him. And you can chill in the back line. And uh, do I care for a three five blowfish? I don't know that I do per se. Problem with me boning you is now I don't want to sell you. Oh, two five camel. Can't your dose have a meaty to hide behind? The camel. Yeah. I don't feel like a camel elephant combo. Might just freeze you in case we lose this next battle. Giraffe or scaling might be acceptable. Hmm. I might just sell you. We do risk losing because of that, missing that damage, but that's something I'm willing to do. And I think I'm just going to buff the parrot. I, look, I wouldn't mind buffing um Giraffe. the dodo, but then whose Billy do you copy? We buff you. It still effectively buffs your level one dota ability. It's, it's an iffy decision, to be honest. It's an iffy decision. Hmm. <laughs> Badger could replace you, actually. Hmm. I don't know. Nah. We'll go with this. This seems fine. Keep it going here, shall we? I believe. I believe, I believe. It's cute. Just hear this constant sawing and pounding as they saw out the windows in the house next to me and 
ton more. Ooh, that damage. Oh, ooh, ouch, it hurts, though. And, ow, you silly little summon build. You're so rude. We're going to lose this summon build. I think we are. Unfortunately, we're lacking in the hit points department where we need it. Yep. That's a bit unlucky that uh, we got all the damage and no hit points to back it up. Hit points greater than, uh, hit points greater than damage. IML. Um, oh, this. All right. Otter, you've done your due diligence for us. Time to snail it up. Intentional loss for the snail, question mark. Sell you. Well, who are you guys going to buff, though? I guess, I guess the swan, right? Unless we, uh, roll something else to bring into place. I wouldn't mind using these apples for some food, but... Oh, now, I, now you give me the otters. Oh, we're definitely going to do this. I guess you can give some damage to the, uh, turtle. Giving you six extra damage might be fine. And, um, hmm... I think just roll for synergy at this point. I don't need the, I don't care for the meat on you. I'll freeze the pill. And we're looking for a replacement for you once we pill you, right? We want this. An ox on turn six is a bit late. IMO. Uh, garlic would be useful. Hmm. Not f vibing on any of you. Although you behind somebody with a. Honestly, you getting. Hmm. Melon somebody put you behind the person. Oh, it's a bit late to work on a kangaroo. A little bit late. A little bit late up in here. The melon's gonna help, though. The melon armor would be nice. Oof, you're healthy. Your bites plus six damage. Not enough, though. Oh, didn't it, uh, wasn't really counting on the uh, dolphin there, per se. Oh, boy. I think we do lose this again, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that's the problem with going for Dodo. He's not good. He doesn't have enough, uh, he's all damaged when early on you need hit points, is the problem. I don't have level three, so passing you. Um, I guess I could stack you. Might as well do that to you. Who are we going to pill? Hmm, I guess the Dodo. Oh, uh, Bison's a 6-6, six, six, but it'd be a while before level 3, probably. You are a, um, 5-8 with Knockout. We could try for a Rhino, see what our choices are. Freeze this. Hippo. Worst stats. You have to, uh, Get a knockout for plus two, plus two. If you get a knockout, you don't heal yourself, but you'll pop the next guy for four damage. So it's like, eh, it's hard to say. Let's go for, I'll try the Rhino. Ooh, that was a weird sound effect. Dink. Dink. We'll try this. Um, hmm. Hmm. What do we do here? I could have you copy their ability. Then have you buff them and have you... Or, Buff the dodo to get more attack pushed forward. Or keep buffing you so you have more hit points. Or maybe it's time to buff the dodo and have you copy their ability. I don't know. I feel like uh, buffing the like getting the dodo swole is, gets more value out of its ability. And the knockout from the parrot might be alright if it managed to knock something out. Ooh, a little bit of knockout value here is going to work out. Pop a little bit of melon. Clink. Well, I feel like the dodo buffing you would be pretty good, right? Yeah, I think the Dodo buffing you would be nice value, actually. Maybe the pair was a mistake in this build. Maybe win this. This is good. You'll love to see it. Fantastic. All right, uh, ooh, another one of you guys. All right, so I feel like giving you extra damage so you can be, get more knockouts would be good. Um, you surviving longer would be good. I guess probably same with you, right? What am I getting this other turtle in here, but where's my room for it, you know? Where's the room for the boy? Oh, man, really, really wants to have that turtle. Um, garlic. Honestly, just garlic all around. Um, maybe freeze the garlic. Could get chocolate extra. Just use the garlic. And we'll roll it. Freeze you. Our scaling is pretty lackluster for the turn that we're on. 1-1 one, one at level 8 is not good scaling, but all we've gotten so far is a couple drafts. That's about it. Our scaling is, we're going to fall behind the scaling real quick. Yeah, get that damage there. Oh, knockout powers, baby. Oh my god, so strong. So strong. Doesn't matter. You're still you're still gone. The problem is we're falling behind on scaling and we need some uh we need like a penguin or monkey there we go. Swan. You've been useful, but you gots to go. You got nice little canned food. A monkey up in here to buff you. Some more. This action here. Tiger Cub. Love you, Parrot. You've been good to us. See you later, Skater. Tiger Cub. 
on you, actually. We'll give you even more attack to them. You need more hit points, and we'll just do this. Hmm, curse me, Tycub might have been the wrong play. This might be alright, though. We'll see. We'll see. We're getting 5-5 five, five scaling now, which is not awful, and you're gonna turn that Rhino into a monster powerhouse. Knockout's gonna be great for Melon Armor, but you are kind of lacking in the stats departments. Alright, so we, we may lose this one. Perhaps we sold our unit too soon, but we have scaling now. We can start to catch up. We can start to catch up. Uh oh, can't lose again, though. Give me a snail. No. Mm, chocolate. I feel like chocolating you might be good. I'm not gonna bring any more units. I don't think we want that. Hmm. Although, no. Chocolate the scaling. Chocolate the scaling. Do I care to level you up again? I mean, we could try. And... Roll for synergy. Chocolate. Rhino. Level you up next turn. Be good. Or level you up next turn. We'll see. Love to see more chocolate. That's great for us. Great things for us. Alright, so let's just hope we don't lose here. We can level the monkey and the rhino next turn, which is good. We're a little bit behind in the stats department. Got some weird things going here. Ah, oh, man. You had to have a monster up front. Wait. Oh, just enough. Hey, what's this? Hey, Canada. Thank you so much for the... Oh, and we win by one hit points. Nice. Thanks for the $2 donation, Canada. Appreciate that. Hearts and chef for Canada. Thank you. What's up? Not much. How you doing? Appreciate the two. How we doing here? Um, Can't afford to lose. No point in the snail. That rhino. Get this uh, rhino leveled. Snake, I'm not sure I have room for you. Mm, I'd rather have you, like, repeat their ability to give even more damage to them. And chocolate on you. To buff them more. Really wants me to have these snakes, huh? But I'd prefer repeating your ability. I need your scaling for buffing. Uh, roll it. Um, I guess we could... Nah. Don't want garlic on you? Nah. Um, hmm, I think we're kind of committed at this point to what we got here. At least the 6-6 six, six in front is pretty big. A skunk wrecks us. I need a melon for you in the front here. But you can do 8 damage to everybody you hit. There we go. Gosh, maybe I should put the tiger cub behind the rhino, but I need that. I need the damage boost on them. Unfortunately, nice, nice. Oh, look at this value! Look at this rhino value! Dirty, oh, dirty rhino value! Love to see it. Love to see it. And the monkey holds the line. Beautiful Dobskis. love it. Victory. Hmm. Chocolate. Who? Honestly, we could. Hmm. At this point, if I put you here, you only have 19 damage. Was isn't great. I feel, like, I feel I need the Dodo's damage to go forward until you have more damage of your own. But I really want the Tiger Cup behind you to repeat your ability, but I need you need the Dodo's damage to, to give it to you. You need that Dodo's damage. Hmm. I don't really feel the need to, uh, you know, 19 plus 20 is... Uh, you're already giving 30 damage forward, so he's at 49 damage. I don't need to level the Dodo again, unless I don't have a level 3 Dodo win. In which case, that's a different story. And Dodo. I do have a level 3 Dodo win, so I do not need a level 3 Dodo. Not a priority. Um, what about a level 3 Giraffe win? Or a level 3 Monkey win? Level 3 Giraffe win? I have it. Level 3 Monkey win. Um, I have it. Alright, so what about... What about... Uh, nope, come on. Back to the thing. Um, did you... Tiger Cub Rhino. Okay, sorry about this. <laughs> Tiger Cub Rhino. Um, do I have a level 3 Tiger Cub win? Uh, level three, I do not have a level 3 Tiger Cub win. What about level 3 Rhino win? Uh, I do not have a level 3 Rhino, so Rhino or Tiger Cub will unlock some more achievements more for me. Um, you're closer, so we'll work on you first. Uh, get that sweet, sweet chocolate up in there. Roll again. Mmm, let's see what we need here. Stake would probably help a secure win here, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and stake you. Roll a bit. I mean, uh, could freeze a monkey. Yeah. That seems worth. Yeah. Keep it going. And they were sawing through their windows again. So loud. Alright, at this point, we're reaching the point where the tiger cubs are becoming kind of irrelevant to the, the dodos because it's kind of like we're over buffing their hip, their damage. I can almost like, replace the tiger cub at this point. Almost. Not quite. Not quite. We're doing pretty good work here. Oh, is that, a, is that a summon build? <laughs> is that a summon build? Oh, that'd be unfortunate for you if I had a rhino for your dirty little summon build. Oh, that's so tragic for you. And stake on the Tiger Cup. Get wrecked. 
Oh, the Rhino facing summon build after summon build feels good. It feels real good. Might as well just do this. Hmm, I want to roll for chocolate. Melon, it's also quite good. Although, I'm just going to freeze this. I'm just going to do this. Pass on you. Freeze that melon. Um, seems fine, I think. Actually, I don't care about leveling up the dodo. It doesn't provide as much value. Skip that. And, uh, we'll keep the melon, though. Nice. That 9-9 nine -nine is ridiculous. We need to change my order soon. My dodo is becoming irrelevant. Maybe I can put the dodo behind the tiger cub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So I need that melon. Oh, 50 damage, get popped. All right, I took up the two big boys. You got a lot of money, huh? This is the money squad. A little triple swan action. I like what I see there. I like it, I like it. All right, let's get a little bit of melon on you. It's going to be pretty good for us. I need chocolate or more rhinos, one or the other. Would be good. Mm, give me the sweet, sweet goods. There's a rhino. You'd love to see it. Do I care to level the... I already have level three giraffe wood. I don't need that. Uh, roll it again. Passing on the skunk. I'm in my light. There we go. Next room we got it. And, uh, freeze this melon, I think. I mean, who needs it? I guess I could slap it on you. It could make a difference, right? And, or you. At, th at this point, you're going to have an extra nine. So, at the th before you go in, you'll be a nine would be 45. The tiger cub's doing nothing here to help you out. I could do this. Problem is you'll have less damage going in. Right now, I need you to have that 50 damage, I think, is really important right now. Maybe next turn we do this and trigger your 8 damage twice, but I need you to have that, uh, that sweet, sweet 50 that the Dodo's gonna give to you. Wasting a lot of Dodo's powers right now, but I need to... I need you to have 50, just in case. See, right here? It wouldn't have 45 minus 2, but not killed in one hit. That was value. That was important, important value that he had the full 50 there. And just like that, the dub skis. Love to see it. We're doing great things here. I believe, I believe. Now, the monkey's going to give you 9-9. Nine, nine, will make you a 50-50, which means the dodo does not need to buff you. So I can put the tiger cub behind you, and the tiger cub will make you repeat your ability. So an extra 8 damage. So we do this. So he's going to do 12. He gets a knockout. He'll be a 50-50. Hopefully knocks out the first guy. And then you'll, uh, as a level 1, it's be 12 plus 4. You'll be doing 16 damage to each guy that comes forward. Which is huge. I like you having the stake, but I also want you to not die from a sniper splash damage. So have some melon armor. That's good. Rolled again. Um, it's a bit late for any of this. I guess I can just, uh, I guess we just freeze these and do that, so you're less likely to die. Whatever. And oh, there's a penguin finally. All right, this is hopefully going to be a win. If we draw, it. If we lose, it's over. If we win, we win. It's over. If we draw, that's the the draw. Come on, baby. Give me that sweet, sweet. 16 damage. Oh, oh, good. Wait, do we pop him through Mel here? I don't think we do. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so sad for you. Oh, that's so sad for you. Oh, tragic. Just rolled through half your team. <laughs> and that's the Dubski. Smash that like button if you like Super Auto Pets and you want to see more on this channel. Let's go.